Happy New Year. <laughs> or you're not happy. No, happy yourself. Or you're saying, how can you be happy when a perfume is seven doom hot and fresh? <laughs> ah, then let me correct myself. Let me say, happy doom year. Does that work for you? Happy doom year. So how will you respond to that? When I say happy doom year, will you say same to you? Or you will simply say happy taxaton new year. Charlie, <laughs> the people mess me up, oh, I'm telling you. I say, I have friends at uh, Sully's Events Hub. That's what they call. They brought me some chicken, eh? Like full chicken, oh. like chicken. Oh. They have crossed the leg like this. And they've tied it in. And, uh, uh, you know, it has done like this. They say, I could call what they are. It looks like, you know, they, they, uh, well, uh, like, the Akoko is doing like this, and I say, I say blazer, you know blazer, <laughs> where our mothers put money for safekeeping. Uh -huh. I know see chicken where we have blazer before. Now the chicken, it was decorated with vegetables, you know, vegetables and all that accoutrement. So my whole plan was actually, the way the January is going, I will, you know, do the chicken, take hold body for the rest of the month, the month. You see how that's But God, if I to document it, just one evening, one kinky, one chicken side, you understand? Ha! Me drew brothers and sisters, it's easy. I prefer what do, and he said, he's easy, he's easy. They have quenched the light. Just say, they have quenched it. For so long that Akukono, I am Kukufunu. Please, ladies and gentlemen, I am looking for a lawyer. Mm -hmm. I am looking for a lawyer because I need to sue government for damages. I mean, damaging my chicken during their Dumaton. Welcome to the show. This is Back Page on City TV, and my name is Caleb Kuda. This is our first episode in the year 2024, and I'd like to wish you from the bottom of my heart a winning new year, a winning new year. Anything you set your eyes on, my prayer is that may you win. As sincerely I say that, the, 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 as I say this sincerely, the only problem here is that some people uh, who watch this show very religiously are part of the problems this country has. They know themselves. They know I know them. They also know, you know, I know they know. <laughs> now, if they keep winning at everything they set their eyes on, that means our problems will never go away anytime soon. So let me rephrase the statement. If you know you are part of Ghana's problems, for your bone, bone, the bad man, for your bone, the more. Babylon, brethren, for your bone, the more. But if you truly are working in the interest of Ghana, for the forward march of Ghana, for the collective prosperity of all of us, then may you have a winning year. This is how you know whether a country is doing well or not. How? The cheapest, and I mean the most affordable meal in Ghana right now that the average Joe can afford, that should remain affordable, is no longer affordable. But for the, I mean, for the first time in the history of Ghana, I, I, aka yo kegali, aka gobe, has for the first time unprecedented record, Ghana, Gobe has made it to the top 20 items which recorded 40 rates above, uh, which recorded rates above 40%. People don't understand. They, mean, they think it means that Gobe has broken some uh, world, Guinness world record. No, no, it means that Gobe is now becoming more expensive. And I'm not making this up. This is the government statistician speaking. The other seven items that 
saw highest price changes, making it one of the 20 items where fresh tomatoes, bread, petrol, yam, and for the first time in the year 2023, we have seen fried plantain and beans making it, making it in the top 20 items with a year-on-year -year price change of 44.5%. Did you, did you hear that? Did you catch that? For the first time, gobe o, gobe, ayi kple bobo, yoke gali, recording 40%, 40 rates above 40, what, whatever, rates above 40%. Meanwhile, by the day, I mean, by day, it's still the same. When you go to do pangpo, security man's take home is not taking him home. And it's, it's not easy, oh, Ghana, for fellow Ghanaians, I'm telling you. See, fellow Ghanaians. I saw you trying to reach Efua and you couldn't reach Obagbemi. But all oh, that this two shall pass, these two shall pass. And now you are coming to tax us with the electricity bill to like who could tell electricity bill so yeah, but ah, look at something. The electricity that already now they have increased the tariff, you no. Know? They gave us some dirty haircuts last year. We didn't ask for it. Now just say tax a ton. Tax a ton. That one too is coming. Hey, Akpa Fwadu, a wiege, Akpa Fwadu, a wiege. There was a rationale that was provided in the, uh, the 2024 budget statement. Part of IMF conditions was to increase our tax uh, revenue. Uh, and so you, look, you need to look at the various levels of taxes and, and to see how you then manage it such that the impact is minimal. President has indicated the need for us all to bed and share the business of finance has indicated. Thankfully, the economic indicators are beginning to look in the right direction. We are hoping that things will stabilize. Inflation has reduced. Exchange rate is stabilizing. You know what? The most annoying thing is that while they are about to tax the utilities, they are not even giving us light. I mean, just look at how the world was looking like in the beginning, darkness hovering over the surface of the deep. Just this. You know, the most... Um, the most annoying part is that while Dumso is hitting you hard, the prepaid doesn't stay. I, like, I don't understand. Like, it's like the more Dumso experience, the faster the prepaid finish. Is, is it only me or you experience that too? Like, yo, it's like it's so annoying. I'm hoping by the time the doom is over, the prepaid I bought is there for me. I have to go and pay some more. I mean, no wonder, like, Ghanaians are not happy. No, we're not happy. We're so not happy. There's a woman in Kumasi, yeah? And she says, look, they have used Akpafuadu and the MPP to be bragging, son, but all they get is bragaton. This year alone, from the first of uh, of the year, there's been more than 20 taxes introduced. What is wrong with the government? That a law that was made in 2013, in 2013, when the law was passed, they were afraid that they could not even introduce it. And I can tell you with confidence that the president was not even happy about this thing being introduced. <laughs> Actually, I shouldn't be laughing. But yeah, when a people make themselves autopilot for vote for politicians, they take us for granted, whichever way, you know. And the president said something some time ago in Kumasi. <laughs> he said, why are you somewhere near? I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> Continue. You know, you remember it. I don't want to say it, so it's like I am treating your chromo for you. <laughs> oh, no, but um, the deputy... Minister of Energy, 
He says, uh, this is not doom so. Oh, guys, you guys, Muko Scuban, when you're doom so, ah, I didn't know, uh, no, it's over. Following uh, Wapko's uh, withdrawal of their services, the Ministry of Finance has approved the sum of 10 million to pay for the, the, the part of, of, of that debt. And so uh, that was the hiccup that we had encountered, which then led to the outages over the past few days. But that has been resolved. What good services was restored, and that was accordingly moved from the west to the east, to power plants in the east. Uh, and so there, there's no doom talk. Okay, now, I'm not sure if this is Braggerton, but are you watching me on your TV or you're watching on your phone? Do you have battery? Do you have, you know? The bottom line is brace yourself. If you have braces and bellet, wear the bellet and brace yourself because uh, <laughs> it is about to go down. Yeah, that's how. <laughs> Did I tell you I met Dr. Baumia the other time? Oh, <laughs> I didn't tell you. I met Kwame Baumizi. <laughs> Baumizi. Baumizi, what's up? I met Dr. Baumia during the Senga Town. He said he was there to support a fly, you know, support the young lady, bra, bra, bra. Oh, we vibe. He and I, oh, we vibe. What a a is trying to do is to break a world record. Um, and it's not very easy uh, to do. Um, and so on a day like this, Christmas Day, everybody's spending time with their families. Um, and it could be very lonely. And I think that as Ghanaians, we should give her all the support and moral encouragement as we can. And so I thought I should stop by here and let her know that Ghana is behind her and she should go ahead and break the record. It is possible for us to do it. No, I told you we vibe, right? Yeah, 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 we did. Now, let me tell you how we met. So he had gone to greet the lady, Ifua Asantua, who did a singer turn. He had gone to see her in the box and all that. Since then, I mean, a photo of him made the rounds on socials. Some people say they were sitting, the, you remember his posture he was in? Yeah, people say they were sitting, it's like, you know, a gentleman visiting a lady in a father's house, and the father is like, eh, hey, where's we here there? Where's up there? It's not, it's not true. It's, it's propaganda, you understand? It's a lie. Um, <laughs> so when he came down the stairs, and we were there, journalists, we were approaching him. When he saw me, you know, he said, hey, he started his own name in the city. I know that. <laughs> so, no, no, I mean, as we, he, was, he was talking about, you know, he was vibing, talking about if Fua is doing well, the state is proud of her, blah, blah, blah. I asked him, I said, would you kill her? No, bro, come on, yes. Oh, honey. Boys, <laughs> niggas, you know, who dare one more. I didn't know go with Kobanami letters. No, we are not seeing in our pocket. This is what he said. Well, it is Christmas. I think we've been through rough times in the past, especially following COVID and so on. Everybody saw, you know, prices really shoot through the roof. We had ended up with inflation of 54% last year, the, this time. And this year we are talking of 26% so far. Prices, rather than going up, are falling. Whether you are talking about rice, oil, cement, you know, all of those prices are actually falling. So we are not, we are not where we want to be yet, okay. but I think that we are, the recovery is in progress and we just need to continue to do that. Yo, Dr. Baumia says the prices of goods are reducing. I mean, it wasn't long after that that my second favorite minister, Katie Hammond, <laughs> no, you just watch. The cabal of the cement uh, producers and importers have again conspired and decided to increase um, uh, uh, the price of uh, uh, 50 kilos of um, cement. The government has provided all the necessary ambience, all the regulatory framework, uh, 
a proper environment for these companies to operate and do um, do their their business profitably. I've always maintained that these institutions and organizations, these companies, are not charitable institutions or organizations. I expect that they make their reasonable profit. What I don't accept is to take the people of Ghana for granted. No, no. At this point, let, you know, let me just pick a call. You know, <laughs> hello. May you are not. May you are not. May all these questions that you are this and this and that. May you are not. Hello. Thank you so much, Orabo. Me, 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 you want to cry, me, you want to cry. Hello, hello? <laughs> no, let's go for a break, Charlie. <laughs> no, because, you know, Terminator, right? Katie Amon is trying to take Terminator's place in my heart, but Temi, <laughs> you're the original, you understand? <laughs> Tammy has a New Year message for all of us. So after this break, ah, fresh from nature, God. Welcome from that break, my friends. This is Backpage on City TV, and my name is Caleb Kuda. If there is one thing I would pay loads and loads of money to do this year, it would be just to see the parents of Johnson and Asiru get here. Yeah. Listen, I would pay a million dollars to see his parents because I have a few questions to ask them because, like, what is this? Like, look, the man saw Chief Alan Kwejo Chiramati, you know, like, he started dancing like a butterfly. What is this? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> general, general. Um, I, like I'm saying, maybe he was simply welcoming Alan, you know, to the fly fraternity. So mosquitoes fly, and butterflies fry too. So therefore, fry, fry, oh fry, you know, fry, fry, oh fry. <laughs> Listen, the education minister, right? You know him, yeah. His name is only one, Dr. Process. Anything else you know is not his English name. His actual name, the one his parents gave him, is Dr. Process. You can add cross room, and you're not wrong. So you've got to love him, man. I mean, you know, he gives me this vibe of a girl, you know, who's interested in the guy. But any time it comes up, she goes like, oh, me? You say, I like Kwame. You say, I like Kwame. Oh, but he has not proposed to me. <laughs> But, 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 do you like him? You like him, don't you? You say, oh, you, you see? And then he goes like, but he, he has not asked me out. So, I mean, I, what can I say? He's, he has not asked me out. But, he, but are you going to be running mate? Oh, Doc, are you listening to the question? Oh, no, I don't select myself to become... Are you available for selection? Am I available? Are you available for selection? I like the way you post your questions. Are you available for selection? <laughs> I want you to add the appointing authority. <laughs> if, 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 if you were asked to do it, would you do it? I'll tell you this. Uh -huh. I'm here to serve my agency. In any capacity I find myself, I will serve this. Can you do it? I will do it. Can you add value to his ticket? If I'm given the opportunity, I will. But I don't know. He appoints, he selects, so I can't come here. Do you see yourself you, as the front runner? I know you are asking me a question to get me to say that. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Dr. Process, yep. You like to be running my for Dr. Bambia? Yep. I will do it. I am ready. I will serve Mother God. I just said, Bosomuchi education guru, I say, or chin, I'm a Dr. Bambia. What I say? No, when Bernard asked him about his relationship with his former boss, I said, no comment, no comment, you know? He said, hey, now, i Anywho, anyhow, anyway, let's review for your suggest. We know it has achieved some successes. For now, let's review it. 
so that we can improve it. Dr. Prasa said that be that. Review. Anyhow, he will not review that, but he will improve it. How do you improve when you have not reviewed? Do you understand? Or say that. Is there any aspect of the thing that needs review? I say, nope. I say, man, granny. <laughs> Based on your own reflection and experience as minister, no, is no. there any area of research that requires review or improvement? Improvement, we continue to train teachers, make sure teachers are well prepared to teach for better learning outcomes. They are doing that and we continue to do that. Are you prepared to consider things like people paying for boarding fees whilst day is free? The, nope. So for you, the, the only improvement is to improve teacher. Uh, well, you see, so far the country is getting better outcomes. We move on. There's been voices from everywhere calling for review. Let Are you saying you. that you've not, I'm, you've not I'm heard? The, I'm the so minister of, for of the all the calls for review. Let you me, haven't heard any voice that I'm has, the, has, the, has the, convinced you that there should be review I'm, of any I'm, aspect of research. I'm the minister for education. I didn't appoint myself. I want you to know that. Yeah. I act on the directives. Of the president. But you're also cabinet. advising because you are the one who's in so charge I of the sector. You, you have a holistic my, view of my, the sector. My advice to the president should be said with you on this program. Well, I, you, so, I, you, so you, you tell me, you, you, you tell me what that. you can say. I, don't, I can't say that. If I advise the president, you come and say it here. But you're saying that you don't think free assistance should be reviewed in any shape or form. Nope. <laughs> now, do you want to be running mate? Yep. Should we review free SHS? Nope. Did you have a good working relationship with NAPO? Who is and also I the running mate role? Me, I don't like that. Let's change the topic. I don't like that. Thing. Yo, no comment. There was this um, delegate <laughs> who was so impressed by the works of his MP. I think the MP is um, another one prayer, right? Another one prayer. Hi. He said the MP has done so many good things that Charlie. The things that the MP has done, if, it, if he begins to count it, it is very unpalatable. Hey! <laughs> for another prayer, the majority chief, we have known him for long. We know what he is doing and what he has done for in Samom. And he's still doing it. We, we can't mention it, it's unpresentable. <laughs> Indeed, it's unpalatable. You know, I guess that's why the NEIP boss, you know, he wants to remove his MP. But he, you know, before he removes the city app, you know, the OSP says the ways and means is, no, it's unpalatable. <laughs> oh, <Alrighty. laughs> The arrest is linked to monetary transactions within the NPP politicians' campaign in the Asante Akim Central Constituency. And Kansan is gearing up to challenge incumbent MP Kwame Nyumedu Enchi in the upcoming parliamentary primaries. City News reports suggest that the NEIP CEO distributed money to delegates. Asante Akim Central NPP Constituency Secretary Felix Amache claims the incumbent MP is the complainant. But this statement has been disputed by Kwame Enyimedu MP, the incumbent MP. You know, there's a reason we all love the sage, Dr. Kwejo Afarijan. He says the vote buying, it has always been there. But in his heydays, in his time, now nah, it was Akitesia. You understand? Akitesia. Vote buying was Akitesia. But these days, the vote buying, no, I asked Slave Queen, she said, Gozo, everything on the market. In days gone by, whatever vote buying or vote selling there was, took place in secrecy. Not so these days. What we have now looks like an open market where candidates can freely buy votes and citizens can freely sell their votes in broad daylight while we all look on seemingly unconcerned. But it is a shameful spectacle. Wise men are talking of beds. Ah. He also said our democracy is kaput when election results cease to be a true reflection of the will of the people and we cannot hold our political office holders accountable because they feel they bought our votes, you see? It's so true. Now it looks like pressure, pressure, you know? 
is catching the wager by we magadia. Because, you know, that Ketesia is not, I mean, she wager by we magadia, or, well, she now says she's the landlord, uh, landlady. I am not scared because when you are talking of a vote in primaries, you're talking about delegates. But you don't talk about vast people who are not from the constituency. This guy is coming from Choco, and he always bars people from Choco who don't have votes in my constituency to make a point. I grew from my contest, I've gone to a different out of Congress. I went in, even with uh, 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 NDC, uh, 2016 with Obobia. You know how strong Obobia is. I was in Patep. All the media houses, they ruled me out. But I told them, say, I grow any form. It is not about media. It is not about show. It is not about you tickling yourself. You tickling yourself and then smiling. It is about strategy. I've won twice. He has lost somewhere. He cannot come and beat me in my own backyard. I am the landlady. Yeah. It, it, it is the foreigner coming in. And I will show him how landlady will do our things in Wajabari.